everyone, it's Casey Martin from Wine Country Pens, and in this video I'm going to be making a bottle opener out of one of my Pinot Red Grapevine pen blanks. So this is a little hack that I found using a bottle stopper threaded insert. It's actually the same threads that this opener kit uses, which is also obviously the same threads that the bottle stopper chuck uses. If you guys turn bottle stoppers and haven't used those threaded inserts I highly recommend it because you're never gonna have to worry about catching and then the wood threads tearing out and uh, I'll leave a link down below for the kit that I use and then the threaded insert but it makes using this kit a lot better because if anybody has used this particular kit before what you normally have to do without using this little method is you have to drill a hole at the very end after turning it and that's a little tricky because drilling something at the end of turning it, it's almost impossible to get that perfectly symmetrical without using a drill chuck on the lathe. And then that's kind of tricky if you've already turned it. Anyway, I also wanted to bring up that I am super, super thankful for all of the new subscribers I've been getting. I hit that first milestone of a thousand subscribers and I wouldn't be able to be doing this without all of you guys. And it sounds so cliche, but I really appreciate the support and makes it a lot more fun for me. So really glad you guys are enjoying it. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely do that because I will be trying to create videos as much as possible. For any of my past viewers, if you're wondering what this little blue thing is underneath my spindle right now, what that is, is that's the Rockler Dust Collector that I mentioned in my previous shop tour video. If anybody hasn't seen that video, I relocated my shop and you can check out that video if you're curious. Uh, it'll be at the top right of your screen right now if you want to click on that. You can probably see from this angle, it catches almost all of the dust, which is great. It really cuts down on the mess at the very end. Of course, it doesn't get everything, but at the very end of turning, I always have to clean up a little bit if I think it's necessary, but it's really nice because also when dust or chips build up on my tool, I can just kind of dump it into the scoop. So for as of the design for this handle, there's not really too much you can do with a handle. I mean, I guess you could get a little creative if you wanted, but I'm more of a utilitarian person. And if it looks good and it's practical, that's perfect with me. So if anybody is curious about anything in this video that they see, feel free to comment down below or shoot me an email with a question. This blank and all of the other type of blanks that I cast will be up for sale on my Etsy, which is always in the description, as well as my blank selling website, which is winecountrywoodworks.com. Check those out if you're curious. I try to make these awesome blanks at an affordable price, so hope you guys check them out if you're interested. I will play some music now and hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. 
Alright, so as you guys can probably tell, I'm just finishing up with some sandpaper. I start with about 150 grit, and then I work my way all the way up to 600 grit. After the 600 grit, on this specific project, I apply some Triple E Ultra Wax, and it does an amazing job. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So right now I'm just hand applying a coat of Triple E Ultra Wax, what the directions say you're supposed to do and it's definitely the way to do it so you don't just have the wax flying everywhere when you turn on the lathe. After I work it in to the project then I buff it off and after I buff it off I think you guys will, be, will agree with me that it looks pretty good so let me know what you guys think. So as you can see the opener just screws right on, onto the handle because of that insert and I'm really happy with how this handle turned out and this project went really smoothly and I sure enjoyed making the video for you guys as always. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, no hard feelings. Let me know what you guys think down below. Feel free to check out these blanks on the links I mentioned earlier if you're interested in them and I look forward to making the next video for you guys. Have a great one.